Yo, 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 what is up, my fellopian tubers? Cesario from the Vario coming back at you with another video response for your book. So today, I am making a video response for Return to Collecting, who has reached a thousand subscribers. Congratulations. All right, and... um. So, what he wanted was to you to talk about a target card. Like, what card are you targeting this year? So, I mean, in reality, being a set collector, I'm targeting every common card, every card I need for sets. But if there's that one card I really want, need, should I say Is the 1961 card number 578 All Star? I remember before hearing it, people calling it the Breakout All Star card because it looks like he's breaking out of a newspaper. Uh, but the All Star of Mickey Mantle. This is my Mickey Mantle checklist checklist that I've had for probably for like 10 years, and you know I've been checking them off. And the only cards I need is the 52. And that 61 All Stars for his playing days run, you know, of tops, just the tops. So, man, this is a goal I've been chasing for, you know, probably 20 years. And that checklist I've had for like 10. But, you know, once I started going to card shows again, that's the first thing I started doing was targeting Mickey Mantle. So, Mickey Mantle's been my main PC for a long time now. Ah, uh, man, I'm a little tired, guys. I, I know I'm probably slow, but I went to Disneyland yesterday. Now that our um, blackout is, you know, I have a season pass, but it's the cheapest, cheapest pass you can get. So we can't go in the summer. So yesterday, last night, yesterday was the first time we went back to Disney since our last time in June. In early June, I know. It was a great time. We were there for over 14 hours. Uh, a lot of walking. I think um, when everybody else in my family, they have their watches or whatever that keep their steps. And everybody said we walked over 12 miles. They're feeling it worse than me because I do walk a lot and still exercise at work, I guess. But, man, <laughs> they wanted to leave, not me. I could have hanged in there a little bit more. I was like, oh, whatever. But anyways... I shouldn't have thrown that cap. Now I don't have anywhere to store this. <laughs> <coughs> Getting back to um, return to collecting um, thousand subscribers giveaway. Yeah, man. Obviously, I, I, that's the card I want more than any other card right now. At least you know that's what I'm targeting. That's what I'm looking for, and I haven't seen it. I have no idea what it goes for. I don't know the price because I haven't seen one. I don't shop online. I don't look for prices online. So I'm not informed in the prices of cards. But that's the card I want. It's the one where he's breaking out of the sporting news. That's what it's called kind of a breakout. Like it's ripping open. But that's the card that I'm targeting, man. Um, and I want to hopefully buy it myself. Uh, condition is not a big thing. I just need it. Um, I'm sure whatever condition it is, uh, I'm not picky. Um, it's going to get me hard. That's for sure. And, um, he also wanted you to shout out, uh, three channels that have under 300 subscribers. And that one was kind of tough. Uh, in a way, cause not, not tough. Like I don't, I'm subscribed to plenty of people with under 300 subs, plenty and the hard part was leaving some people out. But one guy I had to put in um, was Peter B. That says Peter B. <laughs> I love his channel. Um, I may be really fast paced. But what I like to watch is a uh, slow paced explanation talking about cards. You know, uh, you know, one guy I had to leave out was like Godlike Collectibles. Uh, I really dig what he's doing, uh, but you know, um, uh, I just he just didn't make my top three list. 
you know, when taking all kinds of other things into account. But Peter B, uh, vintage, that's my main thing is vintage. And he collects a lot of T209s and just a bunch of sweet cards, man, that you don't see every day, you know. Uh, second is Mark's Dodgers cards. All right. Now, I pick Mark's Dodgers. All right. Lumpy. Chill. <laughs> uh, because he's a Dodger collector. So, obviously, I love watching what he's got. I'm not necessarily... Uh, Dodger collector. I'm a big Dodger fan. It's my favorite team. But I've never um, fallen down that rabbit hole of um, just collecting Dodgers, you know, or even having a Dodger PC. I do have plenty of boxes that are all Dodgers. That's because, like, when care packages were like a really big part of the hobby uh, in YouTube, everybody would send me, like, they would call it blowing you up. Where they would just send you packages just full of nothing but Dodger cards or whatever your PC was. And, you know, blowing people up was kind of like a, a thing. And I used to get blown up with um, Dodger packages all the time. All right. And last uh, is Cause Wasting Money. Now, this guy, I've been following him almost from day one. Like, he popped up on my feed. And I kind of stopped watching him for a while because uh, I would comment on his... Uh, and see, I'm a big hypocrite right here. I'm, I'm definitely a hypocrite. I got to admit that. Um, well, not really because I would sometimes I would ask him a question or comment on his um, videos and he would never respond. <laughs> you know, but at the same time, I don't. But if you have a question, I respond. But I don't respond to just comments. You know, if you just leave a comment, I'm not like... I don't really go on there and say, hey, thank you, you know. Thanks for watching. I'll do that every once in a blue, blue moon. Uh, but I've uh, uh, been watching them again lately. You don't always leave comments. But uh, this is something like, because uh, I, uh, I love people who love uh, the hobby and aren't making money off of it and stuff like that. You know, so he's on there. You know, like JP Wisco. I wish, you know, he's over 300 though. But things like that. I, I love slower channels that just talk about the cards and give you some story or some little facts and stuff. Um, I love that, that type of channel. All right, so um, those are the three. Uh, congratulations on a thousand uh, return to collecting. Uh, so you guys uh, check them out. All right. And um, next, I am going to do a response video for 3D 80s Kid. All right. Now, 3D 80s Kid, uh, he wants you to talk about uh, starting your YouTube channel. Like, how you know, just tell me about how you started your YouTube channel. Oh, man, I got the fan on. Hold on. Like, who inspired you? And just talk about your first video. Your first video. All right, now. I had been watching YouTube for years. Like, well, a year or two. Uh, before I actually made my first video. And uh, YouTube, back then, the card community was really, really, really small. <coughs> I don't think anybody who got into it after 2019, 2020 real understands how small the community was. Like, if you collected cards, uh, almost every other card collector out there had heard of you or seen your videos because there wasn't that big of a baseball card feed as there is now, you know, where there's thousands and thousands, you know, instead of maybe a couple hundred. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm not sure if I have the kind of answer he's looking for. Because, you know, most people are watching the responses. They usually started their YouTube video because or, you know, um, because of another YouTuber. And I got to say, like, I had influences of people I love. And I wanted to be like, uh, you know, um, you'll show us your hits. And, uh, geez, I can't remember the, the golf guy name now. <laughs> Uh, wait, uh, 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 oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember the drunk old man who remembers those videos. And that's one thing too about YouTube 
is the difference now is I remember when I first started watching YouTube, uh, a lot of people drank and cussed on their videos. It was like a small niche of alpha men, it seemed like back then, and cussing and stuff was not a big deal. You know, it wasn't until like I was into it like a year or more where people started like, hey, you know, there's kids watching, you know. But then Copa came and everybody got scared. I don't know if a lot of you guys know about the Copa thing when everybody thought um, everybody's videos were going to get, everybody's channels were going to get shut down. People thought that if you had, if you're making videos with baseball cards or Pokemon cards and you were over 18, people automatically assume you're going to get shut down because that's just what other, other people in the hobby were saying, mainly from the Pokemon side. But it included baseball cards. So anyways, um, yeah, uh, Tattoo Sevens, you know, um, there was so many great channels back then that wanted, that made me want to make videos or were inspiring me to make videos. <clears throat> but if you want to know the, the moment that I said, okay, I'm going to go make a video, uh, believe it or not, I was just watching Austin Powers. And there's a scene in Austin Powers... Uh, where he's laying in the bed and the girl says like, hey, that's, you know, hey, Austin, that's you in a nutshell. And he says, no, this is me in a nutshell. And he pretends, hey, I'm in a nutshell. How do I get out of here? Uh, that moment right there when I was watching that, you know, for like for the hundredth time on my DVD is when he said that I got the idea for my first video. And I was like, okay, I'm going to show my cards and say this is my collection in a nutshell so oh man i'm spilling beer so anyways um that is what pulled the trigger that made me press play on my camera and record my first youtube video you know uh the name pepino man there was only like 10 people in the world that called me that and they were just my online friends, not people I grew up with or not my family. So I named my channel Papino Man. But I wasn't thinking about calling myself Papino Man. That was just the channel name, if you understand what I'm saying. In my videos, I still said Caesar. Hey, this is Caesar. I would say my whole name. Hey, this is Caesar Carbajal uh, coming back, <laughs> you know, with another video. Like uh, before the whole Papino Man persona uh, took over. You know, and, um, yeah, and then after that, I was just making videos, and, it, you know, it was a journey. Uh, back then, what was different is that I would get more views at first than I had um, subscribers. And, you know, so it, a lot of, a lot of my, my stuff has changed uh, compared to back in the day. Because I remember I would have, like, 60 subscribers, but I would get 100 views, which was good for me because that was kind of a... Uh, a thing back then that I had said to myself when because I was still kind of a I'm an old man get off my grass kind of thing like kids get off your phones kids you know get off your phones and go get out there and so I didn't want to be like I wanted to make videos all the time I, was, I had so many ideas in my head like I just want to keep or so many things to show basically because I you know YouTube was going to be new. I already showed all my stuff on Instagram. I already showed all my stuff on Facebook. But you can start over uh, when you got YouTube. Oh, nobody on YouTube has seen this stuff. So I can start over and show everything again. So like I was lit. I like my idea. I was like, okay, I'm going to show that. I'm going to show that. Uh, but I told myself, I won't make a, another video until I get 100 views. So I told myself, I can only make another video if I have 100 views. But back then... Even though I had, would have like 20 subscribers, you know, 60 subscribers, I would get like over 100 views and then I can make another video. So sometimes I would make three or four videos in a day <laughs> back then. And, but that was the funny thing is that I would get like 100 views in an hour, you know, hour and a half. But then they almost completely stopped back then. Like everybody who had an interest in cards was there. And that was it. Then the video would just die out in the algorithm. Uh, it's so totally different today. Because today I can check on, check on my video an hour later. And I got like 30 views. 
And then I wake up the next morning and I got like a hundred and something views and the next day I'll have 200. Seemed to be the opposite back then where all my views came within the first hour and then it just kind of flattened out. And, you know, and one thing that was different too, uh, like back then, just a little side note because I'm drunk and rambling. Is that back then I would make a lot of comedy videos. So a lot of subscribers that I had didn't collect baseball cards. A lot of subscribers that I had didn't collect baseball cards or people that saw or baseball collectors that would see my cards, my videos on YouTube would tell their co-workers. So a lot of people would tell me, like, yeah, my friend's watching you. Hey, they, they think you're so funny. They don't even collect cards. And I, so I felt the pressure to keep making comedic videos because uh, every once in a while, if I made a, a video that was just showing cards, like I would have those people that didn't collect cards that were just there for the comedy, comment things like, hey, this video wasn't funny. Hey, you should, why don't you wear your, your, your wrestling mask again on the next video? Hey, do this on your next video. And I don't know, it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Because I really uh, did want to be myself. I was being myself with, you know, those are my ideas completely. <clears throat> but I don't want people to think that, you know, it's like in, um, in Goodfellas. Like, what am I? Am I just a clown? Am I here to amuse you? Huh? Go get your shine box. All right. So, anyways, yeah, I think, you know, just a, a drunk thought that I'm having <laughs> right now. Well, anyways, uh, there you go. There's the video responses for Return to Collecting and 3D 80s Kids. Man, I thought this video was going to be like five minutes and um, I guess I'm really tired. The beer and the weed stretch it to almost 17. Love the hobby. You just keep collecting baseball cards forever, I say. Ciao! <laughs> bobbleheads, 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 it's a bobblehead. Yeah, so yesterday I wore, you know, my salacious bee guy right here on my shoulder all day. And uh, what's crazy is I said, I'm going to keep count of the people who know who he is and the people who ask who he is. And the people who asked who he was, I lost count. The people who knew who he was, was three. That was the count I had at the end of the day. Three people were like, yeah, Salacious B. Like, this is my favorite character in Star Wars that nobody knows who he is. But you got to be fair. Uh, he's in the old Star Wars. So, like, you know, um, I get caught up in, like, forgetting the age. So, even if these people are in their 30s, they probably never watched the old Star Wars. You know, and he was, you know, with uh, Jabba the Hutt. And he's not in any of the newer ones. So there's a lot of Star Wars fans who, I guess, never really saw the old ones. Because they had no idea who Salacious B was. Ain't that a shame. And I know this is the end of my rambling video. But dude, I have all the care packages I've been receiving. So I will make those videos. Thank you. I just really haven't had time the last couple weeks it was a long homestand and before that i was camping i actually drove the same day i left camping i went into work that night and i still got all the cars from my giveaway that i need to send out you know that will be sent out don't worry about that i'm i'm a man of my word if i tell you i'm gonna lick your toes i'll lick your toes but i'll just never say that all right but guys yeah man i've been making some pickups you know like i picked up this mickey man oh i picked up a couple things and i got all this all right but um I still love the hobby, guys. Even if I get too busy, they're always in the back of my head. Man, I just love the hobby. Keep collecting baseball cards forever. Let me end this. I gotta press stop.